Welcome to Willer in Training Boat Handling Tutorial Series. This series of videos is not a substitute for hands-on tuition, but will give you an introduction to the techniques used on a boat handling training course. In this video, we're going to look at mooring up single-handed. OK, I've slowed the boat down to tick over speed already, so now I'm just making final steering adjustments to bring the boat in through the narrowing and the intention is to moor up just up there on the left hand side. Now as with any coming alongside operation, i.e. coming in to moor, the intention here is to get the bow to touch and at the same time stop the boat going forward. So a few careful adjustments to the steering and once I'm happy the bow is in the right place I'm then going to select reverse gear to slow down. Now, see the wash once I put it in reverse gear coming out of either side of the boat. But on the left hand side, where I'm fairly close to the piling, it starts to push the stern out. Well, that's fine in this case because that brings the bow in and that's what I want. But this effect is known as reverse bank effect. Now I need to bring the stern in, so a burst of forward speed, and bring the tiller over toward the towpath side, and then an equal burst of reverse that counteracts the need for the boat to move forward. If I've got the timing just right, the boat comes to a standstill and it comes alongside at the same point. I've now stepped off with the centre line. Notice both hands being used on the side of the boat. Two or three turns wrapped around that convenient bollard. And then take hold of the line between the bollard and the boat. And using my arms and legs, not my back, I just stand up and just pull the boat in. Retention the line and do the same thing again until gradually the boat comes alongside. And there you have it. Coming into more single-handed.